So I am doing the official car clean out before we drive to Virginia. Um, so I'm gonna take you along as I clean out my car. It's gonna be probably fairly gross. <laughs> Today when I was getting the kids out of the car for church, I was like, what is that smell? Why does it smell like vinegar back here? Like this is really gross guys. And I just cleaned it out maybe a month ago. I just feel like they've gotten exponentially worse at like bringing their trash in or something. I don't really know what the answer is. <laughs> My husband was like, does it smell like pee? I'm like, no, they're not peeing in the back of the car. I think it's literally just like, I saw a half eaten apple. So I'm pretty sure that is a part of the problem. Um, so let's, let's find out. So I wanna give you a quick overview because this is just out of control. Um, this was in the master bedroom when we started showing the house. So this was like our random stuff that has no place. Just throw it in the car when you're going to show the house. And then there's like a lawn chair, a pillow. There's at least two pillows, some books, some bags. I can see clothes. And then this is where the big kids hang. This is bad, guys. There's the apple. There's the culprit. I think that's what stinks. Um, everything else is basically dry goods. Also these like stinky shoes. I'm pretty sure their shoes are a little stinky. Anyway, um, let's go, let's get to cleaning. Clean out and get everything in the house that I want the movers to pack because they are coming tomorrow morning. Um, so I gotta get everything out. These teaks, I think I'm actually gonna sell these, which is so sad, but they just don't fit me. These are a size eight. Um, they definitely fit like a seven and a half. They are an eight supposedly, but they definitely fit like a seven and a half. So I think I'm gonna take those and put those on Marketplace or something. There's some shorts, a doll. This is gonna be interesting. I need a bag for trash because this is like completely out of control. This is stuff that can go inside. I'm gonna go get a bag for trash, I think. All right, we have a trash bag and we have a keep bag. I just found like a swim bag that we've had probably in here forever. That could also be what stinks. Um, I have little tiny toys. I'm gonna actually probably keep that for Ella. She's been playing. She's been playing with those. A hair bow, a guess and 10 card. <laughs> I heard the car beeping. The baby is pushing a button inside. I realize this lighting is probably not gonna be very good because it's like dark in the car and it's bright outside. There's a hair band that no one ever wears, I'm gonna throw it away. Paper, trash, I mean all kinds of trash. Here's one of the pillows, we have one pillow. It's very dusty. A book, which could be good for a road trip. I'm gonna get this lawn chair out of here don't even know. I think it was from when we went to, we were trying to go see fireworks. And then we got rained out. So there's that. I'm gonna move you over. Maybe it's better lighting this way. I don't even know, it's terrible lighting. But we're in my car, so what do you expect? <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep trash. So much goldfish trash, goldfish. Don't even know what that is. Here's my daughter's ballet bag, which I need, but I think, well, I, okay, so she starts ballet on the 8th and they said our stuff might not get there till the 16th. So I guess I need to keep this in the car. Oof. Trying to make that make sense. Here's my leggings. Oh, 
don't know how that happens. Trash. All this is trash. A water bottle. More trash. Another water bottle. Another bag. Ooh, is this a library book bag? Guys. Okay, I have to take those back to the library. Whoopsies. That is bad mama word. <laughs> Bad Mama Word Express. <laughs> Just overdue library books. Oopsie. I think that's like a homeschool mom thing. Maybe? Or is that an all moms thing? <laughs> Just overdue library books. Okay, here's the second pillow. Sleep pillow. I'm going to bang that guy out. Here's a notebook. Keep. Check this out. This Lisa Frank. Isn't this amazing? I want that. There was this lady at the homeschool co-op who had a, who had that, oh, someone's little mint tin. Um, there's this homeschool lady at the co-op who was, had like a bunch of stuff for free. And that was one of the things, and my daughter was like obsessed with it. I was like, yes, she's a Lisa Frank girly. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. I was so happy. A Grader's gift card. A t-shirt. Probably should wash that. Throw that out. A ton of these pencils. An iPad. Jackpot. What even is this? Sourdough bread in a bag. More trash. Here's a kaleidoscope. More trash, a pair of shoes, a pair of shoes. I think this is not a library book, I guess. I've never seen this book in my life. Hmm. Okay, not a library book, I guess. All right. Let's venture into the back seat. Okay, so lots of trash to clean, some clothes to clean, some other stuff. We really need a vacuum. That's what we really, really need here. This is a library book. Put that in the library bag. This is her purse, some gadgets and gidgets. One in the trash, one in the keep pile, some very old cashews. This is a water bottle they were just drinking out of, so that's not too old, thank God. <laughs> Here's Evie's notebook. Keep that. Holy moly. So much trash. Just snacks on snacks. There's a pencil. This is gross. I'm gonna keep probably keep this, I think. The question is, why do you keep it? Because they're not even missing it. You know, they're not even missing it. This is definitely going to need a vacuum. It's bad, guys. It's embarrassing. It's a little embarrassing. Some of you are probably like, this is a lot embarrassing. I can't believe you're showing this. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. You know what? Accountability, right? If I show it, maybe I'll be accountable for it. <laughs> Which shouldn't even be me who's accountable for it. It could be my child, my children who are accountable for it. All right, let's get the apple up. Let's get the apple up. This is disgusting. I'm not even going to show you that because that is so gross. A bear. Another iPad. Some flip flops, a dress shoe, a water bottle, another water bottle lid. Is this a library book? I've never seen this book in my life. Trash, trash. Trash, trash, so much trash. It's like my cheer, my chant. 
all these pencils need to come out. They're like very crafty kids, so they're always someone's shorts. They're always doing crafts in here. These are someone's mints that they spilled. So that's fun stuff. We have sweatshirt, my sweater, my daughter's sweater. All of those need to go out. Then we have a book bag. It's probably full of pencils. It sounds like it's full of pencils. A dress shoe, a bag of pencils, and then a bunch of food and trash. We did it. So now I have to go sort through all of that stuff that I just took out of there. I didn't clean the front seats. There's a couple of like trash things down here that I'm gonna pull out. A couple of socks. These are adult socks, so I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know whose those are. Pretty sure those are like my father-in-law's socks, so that's kind of gross. But I'm just gonna get a couple of these trashy things and call it good probably because I'm sweating. It's 94 out. My car said it was 94 when I was driving up. So I'm gonna go sort through all of that stuff that was in the car and then probably get it vacuumed sometime this week because I just kind of want like a fresh, a fresh car for our road trip, not a terribly disgusting car. But I did find a bunch of library books. So I have to go take those back tomorrow, I guess probably because tonight is our last night in the house. Sad, happy, bittersweet, all the things. In there. Mm -hmm. Over there. Over there. Go ahead, walk. Oh, can I sit with you? Oh boy, here we go. Undo it. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. are coming this morning big things are happening everything is happening when I talk to my friends they're like oh my gosh it's happening so fast like yeah you're telling me actually was that the truck anyway we're waiting on the movers right now and I'm just getting dressed gonna get this hideous green color off of me I don't think that is my color <laughs> so just like packing up some toiletry stuff getting dressed, having my coffee, 
Um, I was cleaning up some things from last night. We did a really bad job this time. Normally, we we have like paper plates and like plastic cutlery and you know like solo cups that we're drinking out of and we're getting more food you know like carry out so we can just throw it away not this time not this time friend <laughs> so we have been doing endless dishes which if you know anything about having four kids you know that dishes and laundry are the two things that never end so and Today I did tell the kids they had to eat off of paper towels <laughs> instead of plates. They were like, oh. <laughs> so um, we do still have to eat out of bowls. Like my oldest had cereal and I was like, oh, you're gonna have to eat it out of a glass bowl. Like I can't put cereal on a paper towel. And my husband's like, oh, he gets so mad. <laughs> Cause he's the one, he's the one mostly doing the dishes. Um, I'm kind of getting everything else organized and make, making sure it's ready, trying to think ahead. Like it's sort of hard to think ahead because we're still not actually driving to our new house for like 10 or 12 days. So I have to think ahead to all the road trip stuff. I have to think, what are we gonna need during these two weeks while we stay at my in-laws? What am I gonna need for work? What are the kids gonna need for sports? And then even when we do move, like when we get to the new house, the movers might not be there yet. So like all of our stuff might not even be there yet. So just trying to like think so far ahead, think like a month in advance. It stresses me out to even think like one day in advance sometimes. So a month in advance is like blowing my mind. So anyway, uh, the three girls are up, the boy is still sleeping. That's fairly normal. He's a sleeper, they are not sleepers. So they're up playing and I'm just gonna try to get dressed. I just put a little like tinted moisturizer on and some mascara just so I can feel better. Put my earrings on and I'm just gonna put like an athletic tee on um, just to feel like I'm not wearing my pajamas. Let's go get packed up. quickly that I can't even have the kids there like the kids were sitting on the couch watching TV and the movers were literally like hey can I have that blanket can I have that pillow can I <laughs> can I this and that and so I am I have the kids in the car and I am actually stopping at my parents house because we have um, a whole cow that we purchased oh, no. Put in the wrong code. I put in my code into my parents' garage door. Whoopsies. Um, so anyway, we have a whole cow that we purchased. Actually, we butchered our 
um, steer. There we go. We butchered our steer. And so I have a whole cow worth of meat that I have to transport to Virginia. So I'm trying to figure all of that out, coordinate it so none of the meat goes bad. So I'm putting some of it actually in the freezer at my parents' house. Um, they don't have a ton of space, but they have some space. So I'm gonna put some in the freezer at their house and they'll bring it to me later. A couple of coolers are going to my in-laws. A couple of coolers are staying in our freezer at the house that we'll transport later. So it's crazy trying to transport a whole cow worth of meat. Do not recommend. We've been trying to eat as much beef as we can to um, like help with that a little bit, but it's not enough. It's still not enough. I can't get her garage code to work, so I'm running to try to get out. I did it! I remember doing that when I was a teenager. I also grabbed a popsicle because I'm a big giant kid. Can you put those back, please? one from a different <laughs> my watch our next level Oh wow. Jeremiah said he plays uh, 
basketball with his So we just finished up at the pool at my parents' house and kind of saying our goodbyes because this is the last time we will see them before we move in T minus six days, which is exciting and sad and all the things, but they're going to Mexico this week. It's a vacation they've had planned for a long time. Um, we were supposed to be going with them. Somehow I just knew, I just knew that it would not line up well, that I would be moving right when they were traveling so it wouldn't make sense for us to go. Obviously it would have made plenty of sense if it was before or after, but it's literally like the week we're moving, so it didn't make any sense and I'm okay with it. You know, I'm, we're okay with not going, but sad that we're not going to be on the family, family vacation this year. Now we're heading back to my in-laws because we're staying there for the remainder of the time since obviously all of our stuff is not available. It's not here. It is already on its way to Virginia.
Oh, do they? Yeah. Like they make them. They'll make them. So Grayson copied you, then I copied Grayson, and then what was someone else's? And the reason why I did that is because I like one. How are you enjoying that? Shut up and dance with me. This movie means a dish to me. Hi, good morning. It is Monday, Labor Day. Um, heading to go pick some apples. Ooh, that's scary. I just put my <laughs> serum on the ledge of the window and that's a bad idea. It was like teetering. Um, so we're gonna go pick some apples and I'm not sure what else. It's supposed to be like gorgeous out today. It's been so hot like 90s so really just um gonna take some time outside it's beautiful the leaves are falling i feel like if it, it hit september and then it's like it's fall the the calendar says it's fall so it's fall <laughs> so anyway just going to do that i definitely am going to clean this room up today can't find half my clothes that tends to happen when I stay here because my sister-in-law is the same size as me. So our stuff gets all kinds of mixed up. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna try to find some of my clothes. I They are typically just mixed in. So <laughs> mixed into all of the stuff. So I'm not like, she's not like stealing my clothes or something. They just end up in someone else's pile, you know. Um, also probably today, I'm not sure if I'll do it today or tomorrow. Today I'm definitely going to do a store run because we, Friday is move day. So we still have like, you know, four days, five days of eating. So I have to get like kid snacks and, um, you know, all kinds of little food things for us. But then I also want to hit the store because I packed the kids book bags for the road trip or at least I started packing them and then the movers packed the book bags away. <laughs> so they, the book bags are having a lot of fun on their way to Virginia right now <laughs> and we don't have access to them. So I'm going to have to get some more kid activities. I think just like whatever, go to Target or something and find some workbooks and some other things, but I am doing something cool. Um, I saw it on one of the kids' YouTube channels that they watch, Tic Tac Toy, I think, or something. And um, they would have they would have like a little brown bag for every like hour of their road trip. And so I'm gonna do something like that. That, but I think I'm gonna do it like every 30 minutes because my kids are littler, littler. So I want to show you some of the things that I have already. I have these magnetic men that they can like build with. There's only 10 of them though, and this is to split between three kids. Um, then I have these sticker faces. The kids love these. My mom would always have these just at her house. Um, so I think this should occupy them for a while, although I'm slightly terrified about stickers being in my car. And then I got a bunch of these water wow things. The kids love these. They occupy them for like 10 minutes. Show me what you got at the little farm store, huh? It's time for your feature. Oh, gross. Gross. <laughs> got milk. some milk, raw milk, and... And a little, little treat. 
I'll treat this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, hey. Cinnamon rolls. Everyone can have it. Yeah. Like raw milk in a kid cup. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Put it in the car. You don't need it right now. Is that gonna be a good one? Is it a pretend one? No, they're real. It does look fake though, doesn't it? Let's see if you like it. Is this real? Is that good? Is this actually apple? You know what that is? What? Pokeberries. Daddy! Daddy! Pokeberries! Daddy, I found pokeberries! Oh, you go. oh, baby. Nice job. Looks like a good one. You can't help but just take a bite of it. I know. Weird. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that looks good. Is that delicious? You like it? Yeah. Good. Coming in hot with a grabber. <laughs> I don't know. Whoever wants it. Get to grabbing. Got it. Got it. The dismount. <laughs> That car 
section because I think there were some Donegals. Let's do it. Daddy, can I try the Donegals? Oh. I was going to get for us. Wait, I want to also get a honey. 